September 25th. And this is the London Review. Hi guys, this is Robert Rivera with the Rivera Trading Group in association with Train Trading Academy. And this is the time of the day where I review the trades from the last from last night. Again, DVP USD is what we sent out, what I sent out last night. I think it was the only trade that went out to the team last night. And it did have some nice movement. We're going to discuss it here in just a minute. I am enjoying my cup of joe like I do every morning. My Puerto Rican coffee, which I love so much. Here with my Pips Pay My Bills shirt, which I also enjoy. And uh, I, I'm waiting for another one that's coming from Wellesley. Uh, a nice little t-shirt. I can't remember what's it called. But anyway, uh, let's talk about price action today. Um, there are some movements in the market that unless you know how to read the price action, you'll be hesitant to take and then you'll miss out on your opportunity. Uh, let's talk about it in relation to what happened last night's trades. All right. So this is the setup as we had it last night. Let me go ahead and zoom in. Uh, we see how price has been rejecting that top uh, zone there, which is a resistance. But we also notice how it's been climbing up. Um, we have a, a, a low, if you look right there, we have a low, right? And then we have a slightly higher low right there. And we have another higher low right there. So basically we're wedging right into the action as we're looking at it. Um, price seems to have found support and now it is pushing to the upside. We notice that it is above the 50 moving average. This is on the one hour. Okay, we take notice of all of this and then we are waiting. We're waiting on price, all right? Um, basically, my thought pattern here was simply, okay, let's see how far it goes into that wedge before it starts making a move. This setup right here is, is as of midnight, okay? where uh, the GBP pair, let me see, the USD was showing strength at around uh, four, three and some, three and four, and the GBP strength was at two or three. So basically it was weak, uh, GBP was weak in relation to the, um, to the dollar, but it was still moving up. Or I should say this way, it was refusing to come down. I'm just simply watching the action here. So this is what happened. These are the results from last night. And again, what happened, um, we, we saw that price, instead of come down like it was, like it had shown there before with all those wicks, it broke to the top, it retested the line, and it jumped for 41 pips. Now, again, we don't linger in the market. It reached the zone of resistance. And in fact, if you, depending on whether you use Fibonacci or not, there's a golden zone right there. Basically, what you're looking at is a rejection of the 61.8 on the Fib retracement, all right? Which means that price is likely to come back as it did. It came back, dropped back into the zone, broke the trend line, right so, and retested it right there in that nice, beautiful evening star or doji candle right on the 50 moving average and it broke down below that afterwards for 59 pips. Uh, as you can see, there's wicks down happening now at the bottom over here, so it might have found support. But in any event, we have already won our pips and we are done. It was actually a very nice movement. Now, talking about price action. All right, price was uh, right there in the consolidation before the breakout, right there in the consolidation before the breakout. Price was going up and down, up and down, up and down creating again um, uh, indecision as to which way it was going to go. But as I mentioned, the GBP pair uh, with the USD was weak in comparison to the USD. And so I'm just watching it now. As price starts moving to the upside on that 2 a.m. candle, which is the one before the breakout, actually is the one that broke out. As price is moving up, I notice how the GBP pair is gaining strength. It went from three to four to five to six to seven. So uh, as it is gaining strength and it was already moving up when it was weaker, uh, I, I figured out that, okay, this is going to break to the upside. And sure enough, price action proved it. We have first an engulfing candle right there. Um, I, can say, I wish I could point it to you. We have an engulfing candle. Let me see. It is the uh, second to last before the breakout. Okay, so 
The one before the breakout is a red candle and the one before that is the green. Okay, so that green candle is an engulfing candle because before the uh, in relation to the one prior, all right? And then the red candle is basically a retest of the eight exponential moving average, creating again a new higher low. Um, and as it started pushing up to the upside with the 3 a.m. candle, it was obvious that price action was telling me we're going up. All right. So I took that move to the upside. And in fact, that took me all of maybe 10 seconds. That was crazy. From the moment that I entered, it was like 10 seconds. And I didn't need very much. I only needed like 150, 140 to reach my goal for the week. And so that was good enough for me. I closed up shop and watched the rest and kind of coached the team through what was going on with the rest of the movement. So these are the results for last night. And uh, again, I only needed like 140 or 150 or something like that. So that's all I took. Um, that gives me uh, 1505 for the week, which was the goal. And so I was done. Uh, there's a lot to say about price action, and I'm going to have to make a video um, on it that I can share. Again, we do teach price action to the team, and uh, we have plenty of information in the library about it, the videos that we have made, videos that others have made. And it is um, um, the most important thing. Okay, Price action in relation to market structure is the most important thing that you can learn. It takes a minute to learn the movement, but once you have it, um, once you have it figured out, you'll do well with price action. You don't need indicators. You don't really need anything else. Price action is king. As I was mentioning, guys, I'm gonna have to make a video on price action because what I just showed you there doesn't really give you a lot of details. And I can't really use a pointer either to point out to you how it moved. But um, watching, uh, there all there's only really one way that I know of to learn price action, and that's chart time. You gotta spend time with the charts. I was just I just finished the one-on-one -on -one with someone and I was explaining to them that you're not really going to gain confidence in reading price action unless you're taking a risk. In other words, unless you're going in, you see the price action, you can study price action, you can see the candles moving up and down. But until you actually enter a trade and put money at risk, you won't really know what a trader, what a real trader knows until you do so. Okay. And on price action, again, there's a lot of uh, people using all sorts of indicators and indicators are helpful. Indicators are helpful. Let's call heat wave an indicator, okay? It is helpful. It does help in relation to the price action. In my case, I'm watching price and I'm watching how price is making higher lows and higher highs in spite of the fact that the pair is weak, that the GBP is weak in relation to the USD. So all it needed, all it needed as far as strength is concerned was to get a little strong at the right moment and we're gonna get a push to the upside, which is exactly what it did. Okay, as it created an engulfing candle and we saw the retracement, um, the 3 a.m. candle took off from there and it was actually really easy to catch because again, the price action, the market structure and my confirmations were, were telling me, let's go for the buy. And sure enough, quick buy, 40 pips, plenty easy. I hope that you're finding this information helpful. I hope that you're blessed by what you're seeing. I hope that it's informative for you. And if so, please like, comment and subscribe. God bless you.